Welcome back to Cooking with Ash. Today I will be showing you step by step on how to prepare some delicious tamarind ball. Growing up, these were one of my favorite treat or snack going to school and I will be sharing all the tips and tricks on how to achieve these delicious goodies and bring back those childhood memories. So join me in the kitchen and let's prep these delicious, tasty tamarind balls. To prepare our tamarind ball, we have here some tamarind paste or you can buy the um, fresh tamarind from the store take off the shell, you know, pull out the string from it. This already, they did all that. Easy walk, I know I like easy walk. Big shout out to our friend, Naimoon. She requested for us to make some tamarind ball. Big love to you, love. Um, she lives in Suriname. Well, I see she dropped the Suriname flag. So I'm assuming she's from Suriname. So to prepare our tamarind ball, um, we're gonna be using some tamarind paste. I have some seed in it, not all the seed is gone. It's optional, you can keep the seed or you can take the seed out. I'm using some brown sugar, I like brown sugar in me one. You can use white sugar, all brown sugar, you can mix it. I'm using a little bit of roasted jira, not a lot, just a little bit to give it that kick. And some fresh garlic and weary weary pepper. These are optional, you can leave it out and make it all sweet, you know. And a little bit of salt as usual, I forget the salt. So let's put this together. I have my tamarind paste here. What I'm gonna go ahead and do, I'm gonna go ahead and kind of like knead this thing, smooth it out a little bit, you know. This requires a lot of uh, love and effort. <laughs> so, you know, I just want it to like get nice and smooth and pasty. So you're gonna need like you need roti and you're gonna build some muscle here today. Okay, you're not gonna go to the gym. You're gonna get some cardio in and build some oh god let me show my muscle it's all fat <laughs> make a tone i'm here today though so i'm gonna just knead it out like that you just you know want to smooth out the paste that's what you want to do here smooth it out nice i'm gonna do that <laughs> and i'll be back so I have my motor and pencil i'm gonna add my garlic and pepper here and i'm gonna proceed to Mash it up. You can use a food processor here. You just mash it up tiny pieces. I like to taste it, you know, taste that garlic. It, it do gives it a nice flavor. And the pepper kick gives it a nice kick, you know. It gives it that distinct flavor. That classic tamarind ball when you used to go primary school. I run barefoot and go buy your tamarind ball. Yeah, that is tamarind ball you get. The auntie back at the school used to sell them tamarind ball. You know, them back street people used to make the best tamarind ball. That is cool, auntie. Like them people who are selling the side of the street, them used to make the best. So I'm gonna pound this thing up good, nice and smooth. And then we're gonna transfer it over here. We have everything nice and pung up. You know, like when you grind it from the masala brick, nice and smooth. You're gonna add it to your tamarind. And we're gonna go in with our salt. Picnin, you come home? Mm -hmm. We got a college picnin, just walk in. Say hi. Hello. And I'm gonna go in with a pinch of roasted jira. Not a lot, okay? You know, I overpower this thing with jira, just a pinch. Let me say pinch of gravel with your finger, and, you know, sprinkle them. And we're gonna go in with our brown sugar. You know, let me measure the sugar for you. Just come over here, can help me out, Tiana. Or Justin, one of you guys come here. Pour it out in here for me. We're making tamarind ball, Justin. See, you, you gotta put the picnic in for walk, then can't come just, no, you gotta break it up. You gotta, they can't come and just eat. They gotta walk. Because remember back in the days, you got to help your mother in the kitchen. You want to eat, you got to help. You hear that? It smells good. <laughs> Atiana, tell them what you said about um, spicy food. Ugh. I heard that I learned that uh, it helps relieve stress. You hear that? So you need to put these away. Put them away. You hear that? Relieve stress. Okay, Justin. 
so you need to spice, spice up your life. Okay, so you know what we put away the sugar? We might need a little bit more. Well, let's see. Wait. I just went in there with one cup. And you want to massage the sugar into the tambourine ball because you don't want this thing to be too sweet, sweet, or too casa casa, you know, or too sour. Oh, Lord. My muscle hot, my body. Justin, you're going to have to need it. <laughs> you just can't fall fast. I should have waited till your daddy got more put on your walking muscle here, right? Mm -hmm. That should have been the one. <laughs> so you want to keep kneading this. Make sure this is nice. The sugar is nice and combined into this tambourine paste with your seasoning, you know, your seasoning blend. So you're going to put some muscle into it. And as you as you can see, as I'm kneading, I'm pushing it out so, you know, it smears in nice. Like if you need roti. <laughs> oh, yeah. I love getting my massage tonight. I'm good. <laughs> Justin, you do it. I have work. So, so I'm going to continue this process until I get it nice and smooth, and then we're going to finish it up. I have now that we have this nice and smooth, we're going to proceed to make little round balls about a tablespoon and then you're gonna drop it into some white sugar and roll it see that happy can I help yeah you can help is your hand clean you better wash your hand <laughs> so you want to roll them nice and then you're gonna drop them in the sugar and you're gonna lightly roll them in the white sugar I like the contrasting color. I like to use the brown sugar for the um, tambourine ball and then roll it in the white sugar. Me and Ati don't taste. And how we taste? Amazing. Amazing. That hint of garlic, the pepper. It's not even too spicy. We could add more pepper. Y'all know me a pepper mouth, right? But let me know in the comment how much you used to pay for a tambourine ball back in the days. I believe me used to pay 25 cents and honestly me can't remember because i know me get memory problem only just step in <laughs> me can't remember but we used to buy a tamarind ball or sugar cake and a milk icicle colored icicle salsa and sour let me tell you these are the classic school days treat you can't go wrong you can't go wrong period so i'm gonna finish this up i'm gonna let Ati Miss taste tatiana it. here with your little pepper mouth gonna give us a taste test of the tamarind ball and look now i put the peppers garnish and she want taste piece okay so you can hear when she mouth bun up <laughs> try this first this looks amazing that is mommy childhood day snack she used to love that what are your thoughts you like it okay because you like tahine and you like spicy stuff. So, of course, you're going to love it. She likes tahine. So it tastes so sweet? Mm -mm, not sweet, sorry. This is the wrong thing. It tastes so amazing. <laughs> Girl. Okay, so there you have it. Atiana is enjoying the tamarind ball. And I hope you guys give this a try. And it brings back beautiful memories of school days growing up. The pepper hat, be careful. It's ghost pepper this picnic a bite into raw, okay? Don't bite too much into it. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for joining us in the kitchen. Sending our love, thanks, and gratitude. Mm, it tastes good. It tastes good. Bye. <laughs>